ISO publishes a range of standards for management systems, but each standard uses different structures and format. For some time, ISO wanted to introduce consistency across the standard and the structure has now been published, which is now known as Annex SL. Some standards have already successfully migrated to this high-level structure such as ISO 22301-2012, Societal Security, and ISO 27001-2013, Information Security Management Systems. Today, Neville Clark Philippines Incorporated will guide you through not only on the discussion of this high-level structure known as Annex SL, but the impending changes of the most famous management system standards such as ISO 9001 and ISO 14001 revisions. To ensure consistency in the process of knowledge acquisition, please let our industry certified consultants guide you through a whole day of discussion of these recent changes in the ISO standards. Educated at Leeds University in the United Kingdom with honors degree in engineering and management, he has since worked in the automotive industry for more than 10 years. This allowed him to perfect his craft as implementer of Nissan's Gemba Canry and Hoshin Canry after being extensively trained by the same company's manufacturing system and strategy. His expertise in total quality management, quality improvement, process standardization and department purpose analysis is widely recognized in the field of management consultancy. Neville Clark International's Group Managing Director, Mr. E. Yu Chuan. Consistency is very critical in realizing a successful and effective implementation of management system. Harmonizing uniformity in the simplest form will ensure that it is effective. And with the recent ISO updates, the best thing that has happened is the publication of Annex SL, which serves to harmonize all the different ISO standards. A registered lead auditor by the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders of the United Kingdom, her industry experience in the field of development and implementation of quality management systems expands from the manufacturing industry up to service industries ranging from automotive, semiconductor, petroleum, food and facilities management among others. A quality management representative from BCC Group of Companies and a QA manager for Sensor Scientific, she also held posts at Black Beads Electronics and 3D Industries spearheading the certification of their quality management system she was even member of two technical committees in ISO standard development for the Bureau of Product Standards. A licensed chemical engineer from the University of the Philippines, she is Neville Clark's most sought-after consultant in the field of quality management system, the quality guru, engineer Elizabeth Pulvinar. Quality is an important aspect in every organization. Quality is everyone's business. As with the words of Edwards Deming, quality is everyone's responsibility. It is a way of life. It is something everyone within the organization can work on. And the beauty of it is that once you are able to build the quality-centric way of life, it becomes a culture. Much like the air we breathe, it is never-ending cycle of satisfaction and continual improvement. Backed by her 20 years of experience as a consultant to leading international organizations like the Asian Development Bank, PRC EMI, and the Philippine Department of Environment and Natural Resources, the Department of Science and Technology as an environmental expert, her industry experience led her to becoming one of the most trusted names in the field of environmental consultancy. A licensed chemical engineer holding a master's degree in applied economics from the University of Asia and the Pacific, she is also an IRCA registered lead auditor for ISO 14001 and OSHAS 18001 and had even taken advanced courses abroad in industry development and consulting 
at the schleswig holstein Verschcrafts Academy in Germany and Industry Development Authority of Ireland. She is Neville Clark Philippines Incorporated Managing Consultant and Environmental Expert, Engineer Alice Belen. Environmental Management System You will be wondering, why do we need to implement an environmental management system? In this day wherein corporate social responsibility is the highlight of every business, we know that business objectives are compatible with environmental objectives. Way back in 1992, when the Earth Summit was done in Rio de Janeiro, they coined the word sustainability. And when we say sustainability, we're talking of environmental protection. And in the Philippines, I would say it's very relevant. We at Neville Clark have always been with you to bring you the learnings, the developments, the transitions. And today, um, in this session, we shall be giving you again the developments of what is to come for ISO 901 2015. So we hope that you'll be able to find utmost learning and developments for this session and hoping to be able to apply it in your respective companies.